Okay, y'all. That is the move that pretty much took <sighs> Kenya Moore out. I don't, you know, I don't know what she's doing out there now. She's making a A-R-S-E out of herself. Uh, if y'all want to still vote for her, 21523. Again, 21523. 21523. While she's still on the air. And I hopefully, hopefully they'll bring her off the air so she can take her arse back over there to where we're normally seeing her. Where she's flossing and finishing on top. Because right here is where she's going to damage us and her career. Okay. She's 50 years old. She's listening to that mind tell her she can do those kind of moves. Okay. No. No. My mind feel like I can run a marathon, but when my body starts to put in motion, it's like, hell no, 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 no. <laughs> listen to your brain. Okay. I mean, don't listen to your brain. Listen to your body at this time. Okay. Now, one thing I've learned about Kenya, she's not a good liar. She's not a good liar. She tries to cover up her lies real well, but she's not a good liar. Okay, she's good at other things, performing, producing, acting, but she's not a good liar. All right, now, it's none of my business, but you know, as, as quiet as it's kept, as loud as I'm going to speak it out. <sighs> Kenya, you're getting on my nerves, okay? I was rooting for you. I, you had said it was a dream of yours, which I knew was cocky pock. I knew it was a, full of horse manure because you just wanted to make more money. And I understand that sometimes we tempt ourselves to do other things that look interesting and thought provoking. But then when we really try to get down to the nitty gritty and do it, it's a lot more work than we had anticipated. Now, Brandon Armstrong, he is a classical dancer. You know, he studied the art. He went to school for the art. He put in work for the art. Just like your acting skills, Kenya, and your um, other things that you do out there, business, uh, aesthetics, and st stuff of that nature. Okay, Brandon put in work. All right, so he's a trained dancer. You are not. You're, what, maybe 140 pounds that he has to lift up. And in anything, you might have damaged his career, girl. And that's not good because when you did that lift and even when I had saw you running towards him like you were doing that dirty dancing move that Patrick Swayze and I forget the girl's name they were trying to do ah oh, girl 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 uh-uh bad move you could have injured him his career could have been ended and then what was he gonna do be a model which he could have pulled that off too but that's not his love that's not his passion his passion and love is dancing but you had to think of this whole scenario of you thought you broke some ribs. Now I'm going to tell you, you're full of horse manure, Kenya. You're full of horse manure. Huh, a pile of it, okay? Because I was pruning one of my trees about two years ago. And I fell off a wooden ladder. Suffice it to say, the, the ladder broke in half. I went in the air and the rest is history, okay? I got a lot of... Uh, issues now bad arthritis from that that fall but the wind got knocked out of me okay true story the wind got knocked out of me and i could not move you hear me what i'm saying so if you would have cracked a rib and i had cracked uh three ribs okay i could not move okay can you so for you to say you even thought you did no ma'am no sir no lord no god okay no because they would have to help come take they would have had to come and take you from his arms or from that floor and you would have been in so much pain you wouldn't been able to breathe to make a sentence but you got up there smiling for the cameras and everything but you said you were injured i'm like no those little dance moves you were doing there and i think one when you were in a yellow dress they your foot was planted on solid ground you were just skipping around the uh pavement uh, or the uh dance floor as you would okay have you you weren't jumping up in no air you weren't doing no aerobatics aerobatics uh gymnastics in the air you weren't doing that can you so and and shout out to tamra tattles go watch her um video uh 
platform she does a lot of celebrity news that's where i got that move from kenya you know when you were just doing the butterfly or whatever you call yourself doing on soul train line on real housewives of atlanta where your bread and butter is honey you stick to the ground don't do no area lifts don't go up there because that was a no-no that was a no-no move right there and like i said you came down you talking about you had broke your ribs and or possibly broke your ribs and you doing all that smiling and shit no ma'am you ain't did nothing you just got embarrassed it was a bad performance and you're just hoping they won't eliminate you but you're gonna get eliminated kenya because that's not your form that's not your expertise okay and it doesn't matter if y'all don't win because brandon's definitely gonna go and, and be lovely and do the next dance with the stars and have another um uh, uh partner to dance with and showcase both of their talents or whatnot but you need to go back to the real housewives of atlanta you need to you rule over there okay you, you rule with your queen scepter and all that stuff and right now you're gonna be ruling by yourself because we ain't got nobody for you to pick on right now except for marlo but i need you and marlo to be on the same team at least for now unless you're gonna you know throw candy to the wolves or something to that uh, degree but yeah you're a great producer and and uh cataloging your own plays you want to print that out you'll present out to us the public your great mother brickley loves you brickland loves you brickland loves you the real housewives of atlanta you got a nice fan base okay a nice fan base so that they support you we support you and you know you got more that you want to use as a storyline here and there about he taking advantage of you and don't want brickland and this that, that you know but that's that works for you that's good that works for you but dancing with the stars no 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 not so much not if when you want to take them area lifts and go flying up in the air and that's making us look bad and when i say us because if i'm putting and doing videos on you i need you to be well i need you to be in rare form i need you to be showing up and showing out and with you endangering yourself over there at the uh, dance with stars no that can't be i need you to resign i need them to eliminate you so you can go and the u.s sun is where we got our material from that we're gonna read off and give y'all more insight to what i'm talking about but it was that performance with that costume outfit that her and brandon was doing real well and took kenya one to take flight in the air okay and that was like abort mission abort mission because even when she was getting in his arms he was like you know you didn't do it like we practiced but i'm gonna lift you on up now but you you know you hurting me now and you, can't, you, and you kind of tell he was pissed off about it too because in one of his photos he was kind of looked like he was kind of mad hopefully i got it i'm not sure but you know she was sitting up there you know dance with the man and and gonna, gonna take flight and again if you guys want to vote for her for those who watch the show um her number is 215-23-215-23-215-23. Okay, if you want to keep her on the show, me personally, get her off the show so she can come on back home to uh, the Real Housewives of Atlanta. And she can start taping and filming because we need her. We don't need her over with Dancing with the Stars, making us look all kinds of ass backwards, ass stupid, ass out. As she did on this performance. And the other performance she latest did. I ain't caught it. Because I don't really look at uh, Dancing with the Stars. I just use the clips. And they've been having nice clips of Kenya performing. And I don't know what she was trying to do. I guess, like she was the Eve Queen. Or something out of some uh, storybook fairy tale thing. Uh, for us when we were young. And, and impressionable. But uh, yeah. Uh, we need Kenya to come on off the show. And do what she does best raise hell and cause contention among people that's what we pay her for over at the real housewives of atlanta and that's what we want and maybe that's why they didn't want her to go over there they didn't want to give her the green light to participate with dance with the star because they knew she would probably do some foolishness just like that time out her ribs were broken or she thought her ribs were broken she couldn't breathe now none of this is my business i only do it for entertainment purposes but i was just like wow no she didn't no she ain't over there trying to hurt her Self, unintentionally unintentionally but thinking her mind is telling her she got a body of a 17 year old you know what i'm saying 15 year old and she wants to do aerobatics up in the air okay and then come tumbling down on poe brandon no 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 kenya again you assert yourself too far too fast too soon and then 
you kind of made yourself look stupid and you know that's not what we like to do we like to look polished professional and on point but you know you had your little um mishap so we uh, we need you to go on and get demoted off the show and back over there where you reign and and, and you in the a-listing group at the real housewives of Atlanta. okay i'm tired of this uh, foolishness now it's done got out of hand and you know we, we need to stop so i don't know what kind of maybe i'll see a clip of what you were trying to do in that little outfit with the dark queen i don't know who you were playing the wicked witch or the witch i, I don't know okay but it, it don't went too far and gone too fast and you can you know, go over there and injure yourself and po possibly injure brandon at the same time and we don't need that we don't need that can you he needs to have his longevity to continue doing what he's doing when you're off the show okay whether you won or whether you didn't win he needs this as uh his income so we don't need you over there disturbing and acting a nut going up in the air and not doing your stuff correctly but that was just my beef my um take on the situation and how she was explaining to the press and to whoever was uh, having an interview with her that how she felt and she thought she wasn't going to make it. But she pulled through. No, wasn't nothing wrong with you. Can you just, you know, you went the wrong way. You might pull the muscle just a little bit. Or you knew things just weren't right. And maybe Brandon one pulled the muscle and he's working through the pain. And you just had to put it on yourself, okay? And we don't need that. We don't need that kind of press. But we're going to go on into the story that the, the U.S. Sun had brought out for entertainment purposes, blasting across our television screen or our um, cell phones. Um, it was a staff writer. They ain't going to get a personal credit. They just said the Sun staff. Ain't that something? Okay, but anyway, she know or he know who wrote this article, and kudos to them. They titled it In Arms Way. That's with the stars Kenya Moore. Sure, she broke reels. But Real Housewives of Atlanta star danced through the injury at the bad lift with Brandon Armstrong. You see, there's a at the bad lift. No, now can you see that in the Sun staff writer should have uh, definitely been whooped up the cracker they behind for even saying that. Uh, uh, insinuating that Brandon did a bad lift on Kenya. No, Kenya jumped in the air and he was trying to not make her fall because that would have been the end of their competition if they would have let them uh, start over. That would have been something I would have rather uh, it start over and then me try to lift you up and save that performance. No. <laughs> No, it couldn't be me being Brandon. Because when she took off wrong, I was like, mm -mm, nope. Because if we, it would happen in dance rehearsal we would have stopped it right there because we didn't want to have no injury on myself or lifting you okay your big hands and you going in the air and probably falling on me no we didn't want that so this is what we're going to do we're going to stop this performance on live tv i know the show must go on and we must you know muddle through it but not when it's going to cost me my body and my career okay so no we're, gonna, we're not going to do none of that and that's probably what's going through brandon mind but you know he's such a uh, 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 artist and true to form that the performance must go on regardless. Uh, he worked through it. Okay. Kenya didn't work through nothing. He worked through it. But anyway, it goes on to say Kenya Moore was convinced she broke her wrist on Tuesday night dancing with the stars after a bad lift and landing with her partner Brandon Strong. Okay. The injury happened during the Disney night of the popular dance competition. That was the uh, piece uh, that was being shown in that little video clip. It says Kenya hurt herself doing this the night of Dancing with the Stars. I don't see how Kenya hurt herself. I don't see it. I had to get on my girl. I like my girl. But don't put the shit on Brandon. Okay. And that's pretty much what you did. You did damage control. Your PR people said, no, nah, we're going to put it on you, Brandon. You know that's how it goes. You know, you know the, the whole school. We got to make Kenya look good. We got to save her reputation. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to throw salt on you. You take it like a champ. We'll give you some benefits if it's off, off, you know, off the scene, off the air, out of the public eye. And, um, but you're going to have to take this file for Kenya. That's Hollywood for you, I tell you. But um, that was just my thoughts. Not in this latest article, a man's article. Uh, it said the duo were finishing up a contemporary dance to how far I'll go from uh, that um, African, um, not African Americans, uh, Native American movie, uh, Mo, 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 ah, Moana when the final lift failed okay it's spelled m-o-a-n-a y'all remember that um uh disney movie i think it was uh 
portraying something similar to Pocahontas. But anyway, that's just my take. Look it up. It says, Ken Kenya 50 explained what happened to reporters after the show. When I jumped on Brandon, I think I just landed wrong. Now, she, yeah, no, you did land wrong, okay? You, you, the whole aerial thing of flying up, taking flight in the air was a wrong mistake. I don't know why Brandon was challenging you. He knew better. He knew better. I'm getting on his behind, too. I ain't nowhere in the world. I'm finna pick you up. Well, your bones may be fragile. I don't know if you're taking your vitamin D supplements or any of your extra vitamins to help you stay strong okay in the inside so brandon was wrong too for even trying to put her up in the air and that now how you gonna be in pain and you're gonna have a, a showmanship like that you know i could see a, a classical dancer you know trying to have it but then if you broke some ribs you ain't gonna be showing no teeth and no smile okay it's gonna be like mm -mm, get me off stage get me off camera you know all that kind of stuff go fade to black or something similar to that situation but uh again if you want to vote for kenya if you believe in her being on this show instead of back at home where she belongs, please dial 21523, 21523, 21523 to keep her on the show. But those of us who got ears to hear and eyes to see, you know where she needs to be, okay? But going back, it said, um, I landed on my two bottom ribs and I thought I broke them. In fact, in the air, I was sure I broke my ribs. Now, while you were sitting up in the air, and then after the show, of uh, a performance, you're going to be, like, looking to the right. That photo, you're going to be smiling. Girl, please. Ain't nobody going to believe it. I told Kay it's not a good liar. She's not. It's better for her not to have said anything, got her bad score or whatever, and moved on. See, one thing I found out about Kay is she hates losing. She's a great competitor, but she hates losing, and she hates that it's her fault. And she won't look at it as, okay, I made a boo-boo. Damn, you know, it is what it is. I'll do better next time. Or I'll think more careful and calculated next time. No, sometimes she don't want to do that. And she gets into the habit of lying. And Kenya can't lie straight. She can't lie, okay? She can't lie, y'all. Uh, but again, that's none of my business. I'm just bringing it to you from my perspective, from how I view things, okay? But going back to the article, it said, um, The Real Housewives of Atlanta star confessed she couldn't breathe after the fall and was in excruciating pain. Okay, y'all, does that look like she's in excruciating pain? No, it don't, can you? Get your PR people on point and stop letting you do interviews when your ass out wrong, okay? Oh, you just you get on my nerves when you do that mess because you're better than that. You are better than that lie. But anyway, eventually as the show went on, she knew something was wrong. I thought I was okay. And then later I was like, Brandon, I got to go. I got to go to the urgent care and get an x-ray. I think I broke my ribs. Doctors reassured her and told her she was going to be fine, but that she just needed to take some time to rest. Okay. Practice makes perfect. Just a week earlier, Kenya showed off her dancing skills with her three-year-old daughter, Brooklyn, executing a proper lift at the time. Okay. In the clip, Brooklyn stood on a desk before her mother propped her onto her shoulder, spinning her around in circles. The mother-daughter duo laughed and smiled as they spun around the room with Brooklyn's arms stretched out wide. And I'm like, okay, that's what I'm saying. We need you back in rare form. We need you back where you shine. Okay. Not uh diminishing your shine you're a great mother we like that you are excellent on real housewives of atlanta we love that even more and then you try to use your ex-husband or soon to be ex-husband mark as your storyline and we kind of getting tired of that too because we don't want to see you in a bad light and him trying to do you any kind of way even though i think it's a contractual agreement but that's not here nor there <coughs> we're not going to be the dead horse on y'all trying to get on my side of, or my way of thinking okay because y'all are individuals y'all have your own ways of viewing things and y'all you know stay at fast do your due diligence and you come up with what you're gonna believe and that's the only thing i can ask do your research okay and then it, the lady goes on to talk about or the man of this article the eliminations there were a little laughter from former beverly hills 90210 star brian austin green on tuesday night episode he and his dancing real life partner Sh Sharna. Sharna Burgess were eliminated after having the lowest scores from the judges uh fans and you know it goes on uh another one said I don't understand how they got eliminated and you know 
the judge had to break a tie and you know pretty much they were probably saying Kenya probably needs to go home her and Brandon but it just is what it is okay um they were spared the elimination because Kenya was talking about she was hurt not in this performance but in the one she was in her little white skirt uh Indian type of attire southwestern feel um and they just probably say, okay, okay, maybe it's something to that, but I don't know, okay? But we're going to give you a little audio from page six that um, had interviewed Kenya, and she's going to go in and tell us verbatim from her mouth, verbally, what she felt about the routine that almost cost her, uh, I guess, some broken bones, as she wanted to say. Now, see, Kenya's in rare form in the Soul Train line over there on Real Housewives of Atlanta. Thank you, Tamara Tattles, for this particular picture of her. She was doing, I don't know, but the funky chicken, maybe. It, 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 it was, you know, priceless. And that's the way she needed to move. But this particular uh, one, when she's playing the role in that little, uh, it's like a little dive from Dirty Dance, and anybody saw that with Patrick Swayze. <laughs> Um, and then if Brandon had to fold her up like that. Yeah, it ain't that ain't no reels broke there. Ain't no reels broke there. But Kenya, you know, she loves to be theatrical. But here's her interview. And all the judges, but obviously, they I mean, obviously because they stayed there. They, they saw value in us being in a competition. So we appreciate that. On the lips, oh, yes. this was this strong man right here. The last one from last night. When I jumped on him, I think um, I just landed wrong. I landed on my two bottom ribs, and I thought I broke them. I, in fact, in the air, I was sure I broke my ribs. I just went, <gasps> and I couldn't breathe, and um, and it was excruciating pain. And I thought it was okay, and then just later, I was like, Brandon, I gotta go to, I gotta go to urgent care and get an X-ray. I think I broke my ribs. So um, the doctor came today, um, and I and I'm okay. Um, he said, I just had, it's just going to take some time and yeah, the show was very helpful in just making sure that I was okay. And, and, but I am in a lot of pain, <laughs> but you dance through the pain, you know, we, we dance through it. And that's what I think, you know, champions are made up to just having that focus and making sure that nothing gets in your way. Okay. And that was Kenya trying to solidify her, li her lie. And Brandon, he couldn't even look at the interviewer because he knew it was all off. It was just for camera's sake. And he knew what really had happened. Kenya was injured. And when Kenya was trying to give the uh, interviewer uh, her uh, idea of what may have happened with the lift and all that stuff, she couldn't even look at the man or woman, whoever was interviewing them, in the eye either. She was looking everywhere else but straightforward to where the interviewer was talking and i was like that was piss poor piss poor but one thing i said like i said always can you can't lie straight she can't lie straight so hopefully they'll eliminate her soon uh and choose a uh, a couple that really are deserving for that particular uh award dance with the stars you know doing a doing a thing because can that's not her cup of tea that was probably in her bucket list thing to do and that's okay you know because my mind get to thinking like i said i can run a marathon sometime and when i start a sprint whoo <laughs> within that movement it quickly reminds me nah girl that's all in your mind sit your ass down somewhere okay you're you're 53 years old you can't move like you used to you can still move but you got to do it in low impact okay we can't be uh flying up in the air we can't be sprinting and think we're gonna be okay no we're gonna be in traction somewhere and i'm gonna be in somebody's hospital or uh, emergency room looking at to sit down in one of their beds and somebody inject me with some pain medicine okay because i would be gasping and i would be uh wanting somebody to relieve me out of my pain uh vi antibiotic vi uh syringe to my behind or whatever vein is gonna shut down my pain real quick put a block uh we call a block injection what they do when you have um uh some type of um not surgery but when they try to isolate the pain and they just shoot you up with steroids and it just takes down the inflammation and stuff of that nature a block injection i think is what they call it but i'm not really sure don't quote me on it but yeah kenya call herself posing and carrying on after the fact 
of dancing through that routine that she said she felt she had broke her ribs now of course you know like i said you get the wind knocked out of you or you truly break some ribs you ain't smiling you, you ain't talking you just looking for the nearest hospital with the doctor with the syringe or, or, or the pain meds that can put you out of your misery okay put you in a, a sleep a deep sleep as well but that's all i have for this video guys uh we all want uh well i can say the true supporters of Kenya. we want to see her do well so we need her back on the real housewives of atlanta and stop taking flights in the air uh, where she can definitely injure her ribs, her knees. And, you know, she's complaining about everything. I'm like, Kenya, that's not a trained athlete. You know what I'm saying? You're talking about your knees bad? Yeah, yeah, girl, you shouldn't have been over there in the first place. We tried to tell you, but we were trying to support you at the same time. But if y'all like more of these videos, please put it in the comments. If you like it, love, gotta have more, you know I'll bring it to you. Only thing I wish for you to do is to share my stuff. Share, share, share. Share this girl stuff, okay? Share it and like it. And I will see y'all next video. Bye-bye.